What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. It is a holiday, I guess. President's Day. Whatever. I'm not about to, like, dig into any political shit. But I wanted to... I was thinking about how the narcissist hates uh, leveling up. What I mean by leveling up, they dislike any form of religion, right? Or any form of tapping into your higher self, however you choose to do that. I'm not here to like rag on you for whatever religion you have, but if it's anything positive, which a lot of them usually are, the narcissist will do everything they can to disrupt that. Let me give you some stories like I normally do, which will back this up, okay? Um, let me start with every time, back when I used to do yoga, right? I used to do yoga, um, and whenever I would do that or try to meditate, um, my ex narc would come up to me and interrupt that session, like literally wholeheartedly just blatantly interrupt that session. And usually it would lead to him wanting to like have sex or something like that. But really, he didn't really, I mean, he's a sex addict, but he didn't really want to have sex because he wanted to have it. He wanted to do everything in his power to interrupt my yoga session. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, so he would do that. Now, there's been two occasions. Now, remember, I left one narc and then bumped into another narc, okay? Which, um, obviously I had to tackle that in therapy. This is not what we're talking about, though. So, um, both times, though, when I reflected on the situation, both narcissists did the same thing when I brought them to church. Let me tell you the first church story. The first church story was with the first narcissist, right? We went to church. They happened to be doing baptisms that day. And he had just supposedly gotten what Christians call saved, received salvation, received Christ, right? And so I'm like, yo, you should get baptized. So when he went to get baptized, literally all hell bro broke loose afterwards and he tried to kill me. Like legitimately really tried to kill me. I will give you guys that story another time because it's like a long story. But it was real bad to the point where the police were like, yo, can we just like take photos of your face? Because it's real fucking distorted after what he it, it, what he did to me um, when I was like brutally attacked. But anyway, um, he, while in service, the minute that the pastor came on, he was like, yo, do you care if I like go smoke a cigarette? I really want to go smoke a cigarette. And I'm like, we're three minutes not even past two that well into service like you could have done that like a bunch of other times but he he waited until the pastor started speaking to be like yo i really need to smoke a cigarette i.e i really need to exit this church and like go in there you know out outside i need to go outside and smoke a cigarette which will at least be like five six minutes of me like not having to hear what the word of god says and I'm like, dude, come on, man. Like, I smoke cigarettes, which is not, like, great. I should really the fuck quit, right? But I can at least not smoke long enough to listen to an hour-long sermon. Okay? And that's blended with, like, songs and whatever else. Like, I was like, dude, you really need to, like, leave right now? We just got here, you know? Um, second one with this um, current, you know, the latest ex narc took him to church one time and he was like the same as soon as it came time for the word of god to be spoken he was like yo do you care same sentence do you care if i go smoke a cigarette i really want to go and smoke a cigarette he just wanted any reason to exit the church <clears throat> yeah he wanted any reason to exit the church 
and a cigarette was like both of their excuses. And these two individuals do not know each other, would never know each other, would never interact with each other. Totally different types of individuals, but same dilemma. Narcissism, right? So they both were like, yo, you care? I, I need to smoke a cigarette. I can't hear this being preached, right? So the narcissist cannot stand when you pray. They cannot stand when you take them to church. They cannot stand when you take them to whatever arena that you are praying in in general, okay? I don't care if you're a Buddhist. Back when I was dabbling in Buddhism, um, I took um, the last one to, I, I can't call it temple, but I'll say the community center. And even in there, he was kind of like, Ugh, like uncomfortable you know what i'm saying as soon as you start praying and shit they're uncomfortable i remember coming home one day and the narc my ex narc um came out of the bathroom he was like ferociously crying and he was saying that uh he saw god and that god told him he was fucking up and he gave this like elaborate story about that and maybe that was true because he was like crying and that's not somebody that would like normally cry and he got his shit together for about like a month and then he went right back to the same dumb shit but either way they cannot stand when you pray i can i can give you more stories whenever i was on my way to church okay um with this last narcissist he would always find a way to pick an insane ass argument over absolutely nothing right before I walked out the door with the kids to church. <clears throat> it was like, he didn't want me to go. And he finally got to the point where I would still go even, even though he was starting arguments every time I was about to go to church, that he attended church with me, right? And he sat there the whole time looking around like with this angry fucked up ass face in church and like um you know old ladies like to give kids money or whatever they like to be like here's a dollar young man here's a dollar or whatever and when they gave my little son a dollar um he waited until we got home and he was like yeah you only talk to those old ladies because you want fucking money you're a piece of shit blah, 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 blah. and then we would then fight because you're not gonna sit there and attack a little kid like that especially my child or anybody's child, for that matter, in front of me over accepting a dollar from, like, a 70-year-old lady. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he hated church. Here's what I know you're probably thinking. Well, what about the narcissists that are religious, that, like, totally go to church all the time? What about pastors and shit? I got something for y'all asses with that, too. Let me tell you something. My dad, and I know I talk about my dad a lot, but he is one of those ones, is a different breed of narcissist, man. Like, my dad not only was on the band for the church, like the church band or whatever, um, and his wife, um, who was my stepmom at the time before she passed away, he went to church really just to front for my stepmom so that when he did attack her verbally, he could be like, yeah, well, bitch, I go to church too all the time. I, I'm better at churching than you are. But really what it was is as soon as she died, as soon as my stepmom died, he fucking quit church. He like literally stopped going. And not because he was sad about her dying. It's because he didn't have to play the game anymore about church. And and not just that he didn't have to play the game anymore about church, but he had gone, he began going to separate churches from her when she was alive. And I'm like, well, why are you going to separate churches? I just don't like her church. Bullshit. What he was going to separate churches for is that he had fucked so many women in each church that he kept, he was a church hopper. So a church hopper just bouncing from church to church to church to church to church, right? So like literally he had fucked so many women in each of those churches that he could not, literally could not go to them anymore. So he had to change churches to still prey on women that were religious until he fucked enough people there for them to catch on to him. And then he would then go and, and, and initiate himself into another church. I used to listen to this pastor, very well-known pastor. I'm not going to put him on blast because you would know who he is anyway. I mean, I'm talking about mega church ass pastor. And I listen to him because he's very articulate. And I very much appreciate an articulate person, right? Nah. <clears throat> Tell me why. 
this pastor that was very articulate always preached about how you should watch out for your surroundings and the people that you surround yourself with. And then what does he get caught on TikTok doing? Posing as the front man. I mean, when I say front man, he was in front of this trio that he took a photograph with. With Puff Daddy. Why are you preaching about watch out for the people that you chill with, but then you're in front of puff daddy at a puff daddy party do you know you can look this up do not even take my word for it <clears throat> i tell you guys that all the time i keep clearing my throat i'm pretty sure the devil doesn't want me to get this message out i'm gonna keep clearing my throat and getting this message out so why are you taking a picture with puff daddy you mega church having ass pastor ass bitch because puff daddy is well known to forcibly make men have let him fuck them in the butt in order to gain clout in order to gain their music career in order to gain a lot and a lot of times he's raping like underage i can't call them men but we'll just say young men boys and stuff and like it's a big ass sex fest puff daddy is very well known for that you can ask you you can ask google look at tiktok look at whatever but anytime you talk about puff daddy that motherfucker likes to bang dudes in the butt and for this pastor that's a mega church pastor to be openly like yeah i'm at a puff daddy party and and proudly posing in front of them i was highly disappointed i really was okay so yes pastors and ministers and all that shit they are still narcissists now here's the difference how do they exist in the church setting whereas the two narcs that i took to church could not exist in a church setting you have some narcissists that are so fucking okay let me see they're so fucking adamant about being against god that they will not only step over that boundary, but they will literally take joy in not only becoming a part of the church, they will try their best to end up leading a church just so they can hunt. See, they think they are God. There's a difference. There's some narcs that are just narking it up, right? But there's some narcs that actually believe that they are God. They have a God complex, okay? And what they will do, people like my dad and people like that, well-known mega church having ass uh bishop he wasn't just a pastor this nigga is a bishop right what they'll do is they'll gain supply from joining a high ranking part of the church so that they can get your accolades they can get your praise because eventually they become god in the eyes of their congregation and then god just fades out people are more concerned with the bishop and shit like that than they actually are with God. They want to know what the bishop thinks and what the bishop's talking about instead of what God says, okay? That's very true. Check that shit out. And what my dad did was join the band and all that shit, but really what they are all doing, the ones that actually can withstand as a whole-ass demon out here, the ones that can actually withstand being physically in the church are the ones that like to siphon that energy from the congregation and they're also the ones that like to physically like fuck a lot of the women and more than likely men in that same congregation so they use it as a hunting ground they're not religious but they will pretend to be wholeheartedly so that they can use that shit as a hunting ground as far as my last two narcissists, they couldn't even stand being inside of the building. Okay? And if you do anything, I don't, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and talk about religion because I'm not going to bag on anybody. That's not what I'm here to do. But if you are fucking into anything, if you're into Hinduism, if you're into uh, yoga, if you're into Buddhism, if you're into Christianity, if you're into... Um, I don't know, whatever else, Ayurvedic healing, Ayurvedic healing or something, whatever it is you do that you, meditation, whatever it is you do that is supposedly for you 
to become more enlightened and positive, they're going to interrupt you while you're trying to do that shit. They're going to start a fight while you're trying to do that shit. They're going to start a fight before, during, and after you're trying to do that shit because they don't want you to feel good about anything. Fuck just feeling good about you. They don't want you to feel good about anything. Remember a time when you try to do anything positive, I don't care if it was fucking volunteering somewhere and planting flowers or feeding the homeless. They start an argument with you before, during, or after that shit or all three. They don't want you to help people. They don't want you to help yourself. And the narcissist definitely can't stand any form of elevation. All right. That was my rant. It is Monday. Happy President's Day. I don't really like deal with that shit fucking but anyway love you bye